Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Spook seeks of all ages. Coast of Chal here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks. And welcome to a theme park Halloween update from the full reveal of attractions for the first debuting Howler Scream event at SeaWorld Orlando. Now we're going to go through all the maze in detail, all the shows and other attractions in detail. And share my thoughts on all of them collectively. So, before we get started guys, please like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you are new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. We've hit 2,500 subs now. We're under 500 subs away from the big 3k. When we hit 3k, I'll do a QA. and a Make sure you get your questions down below already with the hashtag question. Make sure you do use the hashtag question before or after your question. Been a little while since I've said that. And for now, guys, let's have a look at all the details on Seward Orlando's debuting Hall of Scream event for 2021. Let's dive into the wonders within. So this event will run on dates between September 10th and October 31st. Fridays and Saturdays, the park will be open between 7pm and 2am for these events. Now, the park will be open anyway, but the event starts between 7pm and 2am. Um, and then on Thursdays and Sundays, it'll be 7pm until 12am to midnight. So Fridays and Saturdays are probably your best bet if you want to stay out um, way after midnight. Uh, now, in terms of your haunts and thrills, we've got it covered. So let's have a little dive into each individual maze. So first up, Water's Edge Inn. What began as an escape to a peaceful seaside hotel has turned into a terrifying struggle to find an escape from it. So very much a hotel theme, and I think this looks absolutely spooktacular. Next up, Captain's Revenge. When a cursed pirate has plotted your demise, perhaps you shouldn't go searching for him in the murky depths of his ship. So very much a pirate-themed maze, and again, wonderful to see this being used in such a spooktacular way. Third on the list, and the um, sort of latest of the, uh, not latest, but the earliest of reveals, Beneath the Ice. No one has heard from base camp since it was entombed in snow. You're here to find survivors, but you'll wish you hadn't. And finally for the mazes, Dead Vines. There is no innocent garden stroll. You just wander into the terrifying realms of ravenous plants and hidden horrors. So very much a, 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 a bocturnal um, themed maze, a botanical themed maze, which is absolutely fan dabby dozy. Now, in terms of terrifying shows, there is many to choose from. Siren Song, Monster Stomp are the two shows that are around. Now, Scare Zone Wines, you've got Deadly Ambush, where it's set in six, 1961, wandering into a quaint campground nestled in nature. you got Sea of Souls, the horrific shipwreck, and Frozen Terror. You might think you're a safe distance from the snow entombed research facility, but you're not free from the frozen horrors. You also have Witchcraft Bayou, where the cult is growing strong and the lure is powerful. Now, in terms of roaming haunts, where there's nowhere to hide, the sirens, the creatures, and the minions will all follow you round the park. Now, for other themed experiences, you've got your bars. If you want a good drink, you've got Siren's Last Call, Longshoreman Tavern, Tormented, Poison Grotto, as well as Rides in the Dark, including Infinity Falls, uh, Mako, um, and of course, all of those in the dark, permitting weather conditions. Now, if you want to, if you don't want to wait, get front of the line access to the haunted houses. You can get single use front of the line access to each of the houses and single use front of the line access to a single ride, with prices starting at $49 per person. Now, you can also get unlimited front of the line access to haunted houses, uh, one time reserved seating, uh, rides, and bonus Hall of Scream scares. Now, if you want to be unlimited front of the line access to each of the houses, unlimited front of the line access to rides, one time reserved seating to Monster Stomp, and exclusive bonus rooms in one of the Hall of Scream houses, prices start there at $79 per person. You can also go on the VIP territory in these VIP guides to help you break the horns and survive this tour of terror. This guided tour provides a customable, maximized fear factor of your group. Get ready for guts, gore, and a night of seriously sinister fun. The VIP tour guide from 7 p.m. to midnight, unlimited front of the line access to each of the houses, unlimited access to the front of the line access to rides, priority reserve seating to Monster Stomp, four complimentary beverages, alcoholic or non-alcoholic, and exclusive bonus rooms in one of our Hallow Scream houses. Prices start adults 10 plus to $189 each, child three to nine, $189 each, and an infant is free. 
So, that is all the details on our Scream 2021 at SeaWorld Orlando. Now let's share my thoughts on this spectacular new event. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is all the details on C1 Orlando Howler Scream 2021. I think it's a very decent debut lineup there. Dead Vines beneath the ice, two brilliant mazes. The pirate one as well, really, really cold hearted and really telling the darkness of the seven seas there. And uh, also the hotel themed one as well. I think all four of them were just, they're just going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, the shows as well, really good lineup of shows. The scare zones, really thought well about. Uh, the bar experiences could be great. You've also got all the complimentary stuff like Rides in the Dark, the VIP tours if you want to pay extra for that. Um, all the different front of the line access stuff as well. That could be a good beverage, especially on a busier day. Uh, and you've got the money for it. I think SeaWorld Orlando overall has definitely put a, a decent spin on all these events. I think that Orlando is definitely going to really push these out in the future. For a debut lineup, this is a really cool event. And I recommend each and every one of you out there in Florida to go and check out Howl of Scream 2021. There we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I'm Coast Chow. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Take care, guys. Have a SeaWorld spectacular tastic day.